India starts world's largest COVID-19 vaccination drive. Here's a summary of the article. The country is home to the world's largest vaccine makers and has one of the biggest immunization programs. Advertisement, the first dose of a vaccine was administered to a health worker at All Indian Institute of Medical Sciences in the capital New Delhi, after Prime Minister Narendra Modi kickstarted the campaign with a nationally televised speech. Health experts worry that the regulatory shortcut taken to approve the Bharat Biotech vaccine without waiting for concrete data that would show its efficacy in preventing illness from the coronavirus could amplify vaccine hesitancy. India's health ministry has bristled at the criticism and says the vaccines are safe, but maintains that health workers will have no choice in deciding which vaccine they would get themselves. In wealthy countries including the United States, Britain, Israel, Canada and Germany, millions of citizens have already been given some measure of protection with at least one dose of vaccine developed with revolutionary speed and quickly authorized for use. Over 35 million doses of various COVID-19 vaccines have been administered around the world, according to the University of Oxford. While the majority of the COVID-19 vaccine doses have already been snapped up by wealthy countries, COVAX, a UN-backed project to supply shots to developing parts of the world, has found itself short of vaccine, money and logistical help. This post received a score of 5,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Good for India. Hope it goes all right for them. Edit. A lot of comments comparing to other countries. Just be happy there's counties getting through it. It's not a competition. We're literally all in this pandemic together. One of the two vaccines they're going with haven't completed phase three trials. The other one is a locally produced version of the Oxford AS vaccine, but they aren't giving people a choice. Yeah, it's pretty weird they're doing that. I wouldn't want that particular one but would be perfectly happy with the Oxford vaccine. Not sure if you're accurate about this though. My state, Tamil Nadu, has got some 530,000 doses of the Oxford vaccine and only 20,000 of the other vaccine, the one which people are uncomfortable with. And those 20,000 are supposed to be used only in emergency cases, whatever that means. So by and large, the people are being given the Oxford one in my state and probably the same in the rest of India. I read some news article about people not getting a choice on the vaccine. That's why I went by. Yeah, I don't think people would be given any choice. But at least in my state, they're preferring Covishield Oxford over Covaxin, the other one. I'd imagine that's the case in the other states too. Covaxin isn't even proved to be a vaccine and it should be banned. Corrupt cronies, I tell you. Yep. Moronic government stooges showed up at my hospital to force us docs to take the Indian made one. We flat out told them we'd give in our papers, the stock is being kept aside for now and we won't be touching it till the results are in. What is the government hoping in case shit goes south and people face some major complications upon deployment? The government is asking everyone who's taking it to sign a waiver that they acknowledge the vaccine hasn't undergone phase 3 trials. Hashtag yikes. That's for emergency use. Oxford vaccine is for general use. And by the way, even Pfizer reported more than 12 deaths in its short vaccination drive, but no deaths have been there for India's local vaccine with perfect phase one and two. 29 actually. Prayers for their success. The vaccine they are administering hasn't even gone the phase three trials. Scientists are raising arguments which are falling on deaf ears meanwhile people are being turned into guinea pigs especially healthcare workers who are the first being forced to take it. They are asking people to sign a waiver before being vaccinated. You guys are propagating and fronting lies for corrupt governments. There are two vaccines, the Oxford AstraZeneca and the Covaxin. Covaxin is still in phase 3 the default vaccine administration protocol is the Oxford one. The Covaxin is being kept as backups and will be used once the data is out. Agree with you that government is not being fully straightforward. However most state governments exercise a lot of autonomy and most have refused to use the vaccine in phase 3 trials till the data is clear. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.